starting to laugh. I don't play, girl. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ronnie George, here, and we're doing a live today. I'm going to let this fine lady right here introduce herself. She is what keeps the George Group running smooth and efficient. Hi, everybody. I am Leticia Lucas. I am the office admin here at the George Group. It is the best company to work for. No lie. I'm telling y'all. The best I company. I didn't pay her to say that. <laughs> no, he didn't. He really didn't. Like, I couldn't have made a better choice. Well, Ryan couldn't have made a better choice for me to come here. It's a mutual understanding <laughs> and agreement. So, um, so the reason we're making this video on the topic is uh, it says small business in Alexandria and she's actually a small business owner. Yes. And I'm gonna let you tell you a little bit about that. I am a licensed massage therapist and I started a boutique day spa here in the area. Um, oftentimes people are stressed in pain or have a need to be pampered for various reasons and we provide services that help people to relax. And I'm very, very grateful to Ronnie George because he is a boss that understands that I want to be a boss and he allows me to do that. And you don't find that anywhere. So I am very, very grateful. No, you don't. I actually, <laughs> I actually practice what I preach. I don't sit here and tell people to do stuff and don't actually do it. My whole concept is I believe everyone does better when everyone else succeeds and exactly. is successful. I don't like coming from a scarcity mindset. I come from abundance. I'm not scared, you know. I want to help you with every single thing that I possibly know. And that's why we're doing these videos. I actually challenged her uh, just the other day and she's been making Facebook Lives just like me. Right. And um, that's one thing that I kind of want to talk about here is Facebook Live and just how you can use it to grow your small business. So we're going to talk about that here in a few minutes. That's the whole purpose of this. So you're going to get a lot of content on how to build your brand using social media. And this is something if everybody likes it, we might start interviewing some small business owners in a better setting instead of just on the phone. So that way we can talk about what they have to offer to the community and things that they can do to elevate their brand. Exactly. And I must say, since he has given me that challenge, I have had people inboxing me, booking. I mean, and I've, I've only done it two days, only two days. But since just doing that, it has brought a lot of light to my business. And um, I mean, even better than the Groupon. Exactly. I mean, the Groupon is the Groupon did good, too, because mm -hmm. it, it did introduce people that would have wouldn't have known about me to my business. But I can't say just since doing that challenge, it has helped me greatly. Yeah. So, so why do you feel in your perspective that you putting yourself out there on Facebook? Why do you feel that it's helped? Well, um, because it's just basically um, I'm introducing myself to the people. Mm -hmm. Um, more people are starting to like my page. I'm getting more likes on um, my videos. My videos are being shared. Um, so, and, and it's bringing in what I need. Yep. Good quality uh, customers. People right. that like me for me, for, for who you. I am. Exactly. My personality. And, um, and that's what I want to attract because those kind of people, they stay with you from mm -hmm. start to finish. When they like you. Yes. They have an affinity with you. Exactly. They, they align with you. Mm -hmm. right? okay. And they grow with you. I mean, I, I just from being started, when I first started, I have customers who have been there from day one when I only had just a table in the room. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I have customers, those same customers have stuck with me and they're still there and I've grown. I've, I've got more products I've got you know a lot going on and they're still there so mm -hmm. um, that's the kind of customers that I'm trying to attract and I'm starting to get that and do you feel the Facebook videos helped you do that yes and does. how much does it cost you free and it'll cost you a damn thing people <laughs> use this shit so that's the point of it that's Facebook right. wants to put you in front of people that want to work with you that's the point you have to break out of your shell of who you are and your shell is your mental barriers that's holding you back from putting yourself out there because you feel oh I don't want to be to this oh I don't want to be to that but what it does is it takes who you are and your personality and it amplifies it yes. and it gets you in front of the people that will naturally connect with you you anyways mm -hmm. that will never know who you are unless you put yourself in front of them that's the whole point of Facebook video because you can look at you standing up straight. Yeah, it, it allows you to connect with the person to identify with the person to see exactly who they are what they believe in how they feel about certain things video doesn't hide that type of stuff mm -hmm. that's why if you have a small business if you're a real estate agent if you sell photography if you do marketing whatever it is 
do video, but do it in such a way that where you're adding content and adding value. Exactly. So what have you seen has been the most things that people have responded to in some of the videos that you've done? Well, um, just the one I did yesterday, um, I had somebody, a couple of people inbox me because they really didn't know about massage or the benefits of it. And so they're like, hmm, oh, that helps with that? So yeah, them knowing the benefits of it, knowing what it is and how they can benefit of it, benefit from massage. And mm -hmm. I didn't realize that a lot of people didn't know. They, they think that it's a luxury. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's really not. A lot of people are turning to massage for um, an alternate way to get better besides medicine and doctors and things to that nature. Yeah. So people are looking for alternative holistic healing. And um, I noticed that that has been a big one for me. You know, I like as it. Far as I think it's smart. And a lot of people, I think I mentioned to the others, a lot of people are scared to pamper themselves or mm -hmm. feel that they should pamper themselves. Right. And I think that a lot of, just like you said, they view it as a luxury, something that they shouldn't have or do. Yes. It's like, oh, waste the money. Maybe they have someone in their ear that's telling them, oh, blowing this or blowing that. Yes. But look, whatever's going to make you feel better and give you mental clarity and help you reset and recharge, mm -hmm. you need to do it, whatever it is. Whether whatever. you go for a walk, whether you go mm -hmm. for a massage, walk a damn dog. I don't <laughs> care. Like, do something that's going to make you feel better. Exactly. It's called escapism to where you remove yourself from your situation. But here's the thing. Your situation's still going to be there when you come back. Yes, so you're going to have to deal with it regardless. regardless. But what it does is it helps you relax and decompress, and it takes you mentally away from the situation to where you can observe it instead of being in it. So right. when you're relaxing, you're really analyzing things in a better way and allowing your mind to rest. Right. And I had a customer I just saw tell some me shit that. for you, girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I had a customer tell me that he was a, a big manager of a, a well-known company and he said that the massage actually helps him to think and come up with solutions of different problems that they're having. Yeah. So although yes, he's relaxing and, and things like that, but he, he's actually going over details in his mind and coming up with solutions. Yeah, he's yeah. not focusing on anything but mm -hmm. what he's going on in his mind. So he's probably just paralyzed mm -hmm. and just relaxing. Right. So. so I think that's smart. I think that's a cool approach. And if anything, that would be in my advice is, you have to be able to take those things and say them in such a way. Tell me if anybody sees this later or whatever. Comment on that if that makes sense to you. Mm -hmm. I'd love to know that because, again, it's y'all's perspective out here. All we do is try and figure it out through video form. You know, we can't. You're not sitting in front of us. So this is why we have to ask for interaction. Right. We love to know these things. That's why when I make videos, you know, I want to know your interaction. I want to know your thoughts, your comments, your your inner, you know, workings of what we could do more to get in front of you and provide value to you. Exactly. So small business owners out there, if you're watching this, all you have to do is provide value. Take exactly what you do. Instead of being scared of sh holding on to that information, just share it like crazy and share it in such a way that people can relate to it and people can take value away from it. That's what you need to do. And here's the other interesting thing is because like Tisha said earlier, she's basically the office admin for the George Group Brokers. And you hear, and you hear her business is doing good for things that I'm telling her to do. Here's what 90% of the scared ass fools would do around here <laughs> if they knew, oh no, my office admin's getting so busy, she's gonna leave me. Mm -hmm. Like that's the mentality they would have. Exactly. But here's the thing, I don't control her. I don't control her position. If Tisha wants to be here with me in the company for however long, she's more than welcome. Mm -hmm. But just know that in a business, these people aren't gonna always be here with you forever. They're gonna grow. Exactly. Especially if you don't grow. Mm -hmm. So you as a business owner, if you don't grow to the extent that your employees are willing to grow to, guess what? They're gonna leave your ass. That is a great point. I'm so glad you said that, boss. Wow. I'm telling you, I'm on that is a great point. I mean, if if you are afraid to allow your team members or whoever yeah. to grow, you can. You I need mean, to tell them you yes. quit. <laughs> Because they're only worried about themselves. They're yes. not worried about you. It's a lot because, of it. mm -hmm. because here's the thing. Just like you said, you like where you work. Why would you want to leave if you're getting value exactly. and knowledge? You're going to find a way to stay here. It's my job as an employer to provide as much value and like content and growth opportunities for the people that align, whether it's my agents, whether it's staff, whether it's whoever it is. Yes. It is my job 
to give them opportunity to excel not only in business but in life and anything they want to. And I love it. And that's why I'm still here and going to be here for a while. Right. She said, wow, that means she ain't here forever. But that's the thing. That's the thing. It would be stupid of me to think that you own somebody, that you right. can control somebody. And that's where most small business owners screw up. Yes. Because they sit there and they try and control and put their thumb on people. When someone wants to excel their life, they add more hours to their workload. Or mm -hmm. they tell them that they can't operate their side business while they're on the clock. Mm -hmm. They sit there and try and put their thumb on them and hold them down because they want to control them. Those are the people you need to get the fuck away from because they're going to ruin your life and ruin your business. And you're going to be so worried about their opinion and their perspective that you're going to sit here and be battling your inner self because yeah. they're already telling you no. But you're like in your heart, you want to do these things. Yes. But now you've got a barrier holding you back. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and if you want to do it, you're going to have to eventually make a sacrifice. It's right. And then it's going to be this big blow up and this big ordeal. Or you're not going to tell them about it or mm -hmm. you're just going to leave. <laughs> it's gonna be so it's like and... you got to use your yeah. words. People, mm -hmm. as people say to kid, use your words. You have to communicate how you feel, what you feel, why you feel it. Mm -hmm. And if they will not allow it, then you got to sit there and you need to reevaluate. Exactly. If you're a business owner, you need to reevaluate who you are. And if you're really a good business owner, because most people aren't, they go into business, not thinking of all that's involved. Mm -hmm. You don't, they don't work for you. You work for them. You need to swap that around. You need to realize that it is your job to help advance the careers and lives of other people. Mm -hmm. It is not your job to control people and they don't work for you so you can sit back and dictate <laughs> what they do and what they don't yes. do. A lot of people have their, the I'm um, the boss mentality yeah. and I just think that that's just the wrong, I'm a new business owner and I even know that that's just the wrong mentality to have. I've worked for people who had good attitudes like Ronnie way longer than people that, um, had attitudes like that like well I'm the boss and this is it this is how it goes I like working with Ronnie George because he wants to hear what you have to say now at the end of the day he's going to do what's best for him and that's very understandable however and not only that but he takes everything and everybody's opinion into consideration before he makes a decision and that's what I like that's what I like about working for you I do what I can. Yeah, he likes to hear our options. And yeah, our... because I want feedback because my thing is, is I'm not closed-minded in such a way mm -hmm. that I feel like I know everything. I want to sit here and be like, okay, well, is there a better way to do something? Because if there is, I want to hear it. I want to soak it in and see how it fits to the environment that I'm trying to create. So if you're a business owner out there, my advice to you is this. You need to figure out your core messaging pillars and your core audience and your ideal customer slash client. Mm -hmm. You need to know who it is that you want to work with because I don't want to work with some uptight, over the top, dramatic ass people in my business because that's not who I am. <laughs> And if you allow that, it creates this friction. Mm -hmm. So know the type of people that you want to align yourself with and make sure that you're that type of person too because you're going to be a mirror to the people that want to work with you, right? right? So once you know that, then you can know how to create that messaging to those people, speak to them in such a way that you connect with them, and they're naturally going to connect with you. You can't make someone want to work with you, mm -hmm. you know, but all you can do is just put the information out there, let them make their own decision, and go from there. Right. Love yeah. So where do you see your business? What's your goals? Like what's your, I don't know, in the next year, where do you see yourself? Well, in the next year, I see us with two locations, possibly three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who? See how I just threw that in there. Me or you? Me. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm like, damn, where, where are we, when are we growing? <laughs> uh, possibly two locations mm -hmm. and um, a group of team members, a group of bosses working together. Mm -hmm. um, I want to hire in people like me, you know, single moms or, or just, just people who's eager to work, who's eager to serve, to help people, to help people to feel better, to grow, because I know those people are going to stay with me long. Um, just, just not only that, just, um, I do want my books to, to be full, you know, mm -hmm. but, um, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of ironing that out, but I do know two locations in more team members within the next year. Nice. So again, as you see, she's at least planning a mental strategy of what she wants to achieve and where she would like to be mm -hmm. um, by such and such time down the road. So when it comes to being a business, like if you just take every day as it is 
and focus on the end result, you'll get there. But if you take every day as if it's your last and you use your decisions based upon that day to project how you're gonna grow within your business, you are gonna drive yourself crazy because right. every day is different. You need to set that anchor so far in the future and it's gonna drag you forward to it and see how you're gonna get there. Mm -hmm. So don't let the day-to-day -day grind grind you down. You have to stay committed to your goals. Right, set goals so, and work at them every day. I like it. Well, I appreciate everybody chiming in. If y'all want to go to workwithronnie.com, shoot them. What's your a good way to get in touch with you if they want to book a luxurious massage? Vagaro.com slash spa delete. Thank you, Ryan C. He's, I just love it. I just Tyro. I'm going to post it in the comments below too so that way you can get her link. And uh, any other small business owners, I'm going to be doing something like this if y'all want to see that. You know, maybe we can do like a small business owner each week. If anyone's interested out there, I'm Come more than happy to get on video with yeah. you, talk about it, promote your brand. I'd rather collaborate instead of dominate. That's the only rhyming <laughs> word I can think of. So I'd rather sit here and build everybody up instead of sitting there act like, you know, something I'm not. I love it. See, you got to come do it. You got to come check them out. All right. Well, cool. I appreciate y'all's time. Right. Y'all have a good rest have of the day. Have a good day. Get back to work. <laughs>